Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to our evening's uh, band concert for our spring concert, and um, we're excited to put this on for you tonight and um, have a couple of exciting announcements to make um, before we get going this evening, and we have a prayer. Um, we have some recognition that's due to our, our participants here this evening and our directors. Um, to Mrs. Amy Whiteken and her band, um, that'll be playing later after the 7th and 8th grade, who received a superior at contest this spring. Congratulations and thank you. I also want to make note um, in the, I'm going to recognize her here even though she doesn't want me to, uh, Mrs. Gullickson, who's in the back row there, seated. The concert choir also is uh, as well, so congratulations. There's a lot of hard work, effort, um, I don't want to say blood, sweat, and tears, I'll leave that to that, uh, to the instructors to describe that, but there's a lot of hard work and effort that goes into it, planning, preparation, and we're excited um, about the work that's been done. Um, you know, one of the things in speaking to the band, I get a lot of comments, is the, the pep band. And so for those of you who participate in the pep band as well, a lot of really positive comments about our pep band and just how powerful sounding it is um, at each of the events that you've played in as well. So that's a real testament to the work that you put in as well during the day. So. Kudos to you on that as well, and congratulations again, everyone. Thank you uh, for your participation and hard work. So one more round of applause for our participants and our instructors. We've got a good show this evening, and I know I know the, the, the news has been running rampant with different things, and I hope this can give you a moment here this evening to pause, uh, enjoy the music, and, and reflect on your children, grandchildren, um, their, their work that they put in. So we'll begin with a prayer here as we start in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we give thanks for this day, for this group of people gathered in this room this evening, in this gym, for their talent, their treasures that they bring forth to our school, our school community, and to our families. We're grateful for the gifts you bestow upon us here at Loyola Catholic School and for all of our school community that's involved in our school in one way, form, or another. Um, we are truly grateful for all those blessings you bestow upon us and for all the gifts that we have and for the ability to be able to use and showcase them. Amen. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. All right, Mrs. Whiteken, I'll hand it over to you. Have a great concert.
All right, thank you very much again for coming tonight. Um, oops, I want this one. Right. Um, I just want to take a moment um, to remind you that uh, March is our National Music in Our Schools Month, um, so we get to celebrate with a concert during this month of March. Um, and again, I just want to thank um, our school and administration and community for supporting music, um, band and choir, and, and allowing us to have these programs here. Um, and I'm just excited that we get to present this music for you um, tonight. Um, our first piece, Darklands March, we were able to talk sort of about um, our concert march tradition in the band world and kind of talk about how it may follow or maybe stray a little bit from our typical form. And so the students were able to learn um, about that as well um, and a tradition that's typically for bands is our march. Um, our next piece that we're going to be playing is Renegade Dances. Um, it features a lot of drastic tempo and style changes and often pits our, our winds, our woodwinds and brass kind of against our percussion as well. Um, so we hope that you enjoy this exciting work.
All right. Um, we were going to have a few students who are going to attend um, an honor band this weekend in Wasika, the Southern Minnesota Middle Level Honor Band. Unfortunately, um, just got news that it's now canceled. Um, so that's some unfortunate news. It actually got canceled last year because of the snow. So these students um, got nominated two years in a row and couldn't go to the honor band. So um, if they had gone, they would have um, met with many other students from the state who um, would get to work with a guest conductor. They prepared some music ahead of time, um, and they get to also watch some performances of um, you know, professional group that comes in and plays, and they get to kind of um, work with some other teachers and sectionals. So it's just kind of like a day of band, and you get to play with just other people in the state. Really unfortunate that it couldn't happen, but they'll have other opportunities like that in the future. Um, if you were going to represent us, um, would you mind standing up, even though you didn't get to go? We'll recognize them. Um, and I just wanted to send out some reminders about um, the spring. I'll give you some more later, but um, our concert for the 7th and 8th grade band, um, along with the um, 5th and 6th grade band and the 7th and 8th grade choir, will be on Monday, May 4th. So we can get that date already on the calendar. It's less than two months away. Um, and that concert will be that evening on, on Monday the 4th. Um, our final piece that we're going to perform is Celtic Air and Dance. Um, it features a lyrical setting of um, the parting glass, and it has a driving and rhythmic setting of Fairy's Love Song, which um, I cannot pronounce the, the title of it, the true title, but I know one of our food players who's ill tonight say it really well, so you'll have to ask Daniel Backman for that. Um, so we hope you enjoy this final piece for us, and then we'll have a brief transition for the high school to come on stage.
Monday, um, we were able to go to contest in Janesville. Um, the students earned a superior that had a very musical performance and got lots of great comments from our judges as well as some great things that we got to use 
to work on for tonight as well to make our performance just that much even better. So um, it was a good experience overall, and our choir did fantastic as well, and earned a superior, so that was a great experience for us this spring. No weird snow days before contests either, so it was, it was a great run. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, the music on the high school program. So that Crown Imperial is um, an arrangement of the longer um, original Crown Imperial work. Um, it's a coronation march, so only you could hear kind of the pomp and circumstance and the regalness of the music that would be appropriate for such an event. Um, and then our next song that we're turning to is British Waterside, or also known as the Jolly Sailor. Um, in the settings by Percy Granger, um, just a beloved director or a beloved composer of 20th century concert band music, especially known for a lot of um, folk music settings and bringing that into his composing. Um, one feature of Granger's music is that often there's going to be some little twists or oddities that get thrown in there, so you might hear some of those as, we, as you hear this next work and it makes it a little bit more fun. We hope you enjoy our performance of Bridge Larson.
and that will probably be stuck in your ear all night. Um, so we have a few more events that I wanted to mention um, coming up for the high school especially. Um, Saturday, April 4th at MSU is our Soul and Ensemble Contest, um, and that happens every year. Um, students will either get to perform solos um, with an accompanist, or they will be in an, a small ensemble group, and they will go similar to our large group contest and play for a judge and get feedback. Um, and so we do have some students that we're working on getting registered for that right now. Um, you know, that's something that's not too late um, to get started either, if anybody's still interested in wanting to do that. Um, we also have some fundraisers coming up, um, some more for our New Orleans trip. These are our two dining to donate nights. Um, I put some flyers back there on a stand if you wanted to grab one on your way out. Um, our first one's um, next Thursday, a week from today, on March 19th um, at Applebee's. So actually all day, so if you go for your lunch break, um, you could make that count as well. From 11 to 9, so you bring in the flyer, and then 15% of your check will get donated um, to our students. So um, spread the word, we'll push out those flyers on social media too. Um, and then we also have one in April for Panda Express, um, that's April 23rd. And let me think, oh. finally our, um, our high school pops concert for band and choir is gonna be on Wednesday, May 6th. So um, the junior high um, one is happening on Monday the 4th and then the, this one for the high school is on Wednesday, May 6th. Um, and then I just wanted to just thank you again for coming tonight. Um, I know this is such a busy time of year for us all. Um, our final piece um, that we're going to perform is Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Um, this setting is by Randall Standridge. Um, the students, I feel, have really come a long way in making really, really musical um, choices and being independent as well and making some really beautiful music. I know that for many people, um, the slow songs aren't always the favorite, but I think that a lot of people have come to really like this song, um, and a lot of students actually chose to want to end with this piece. Um, so we hope that you'll find, um, just find that calm right now and just listen and enjoy it to um, this piece of music. And before we do end, um, if we can get some help with the chairs and the tear down, and I, I always thank you guys so much for helping because it makes it go so fast. Um, I know that Mary Dukes is going to be on to get some, recruit some people to grab the chair racks and so we can get that all done, um, and so we thank you again, students, if you can put your instrument away and just come grab a few things, that would be great as well. Um, yeah, and that's, uh, that's all I've got for you tonight, but drive home safely, and we hope you enjoy our final work. <laughs>